Welcome back to Devices Setup channel again and today we will learn how to log in into any Wi-Fi range extender or Wi-Fi repeater or Wi-Fi booster as you call it. So first and foremost you need to know the IP address of your extender in order to log in into it. Now if you are logging into your extender for the very first time and it is not set up yet then you can log in with the help of its default IP address. So different extenders have different default IP addresses like Netgear has 192.168.0.250 TP-Link has 192.168.0.1 etc etc. Also when you try to access the extenders admin page via its default IP address, make sure that your phone or computer is connected to the extender's network with your Wi-Fi. But suppose if you have already set up your extender and now you want to log in into your extender. Let's say you just want to change its SSID or you want to update a new password or maybe make any other changes, then you will need to know its new IP address in order to log in into it. If you know the IP address, then you just simply need to type it in the URL or address bar of your browser to access the admin page of the extender. But if you don't, then need not to worry. Let me tell you how you can find the IP address of your extender. So the most simplest method is to install a free software that is Netgate Genie that will give you the IP address of your extender. The link of the software is provided in the description. You can download it for your Windows, Mac, iOS, etc. So you just need to download and install it. Once installed, you need to go to the network map option. There, it will show you the list of all the available devices connected to your router along with their names. Now, if you are using, let's suppose, Netgear EX2700 extender model, then it will come up there with that particular name. Once you click on that device, it will show you its IP address. You simply just need to type this in the browser to access your extender's admin page. There could be chances that you won't be able to recognize which one is your extender among the list of all the connected devices showing up there. Then you will have to try each IP into the browser showing up in the Netgear Genie. Next, it might ask for username and password. Again, extenders have different default username and password. Best option is to search for your particular brand on Google. For example, if I want to know for TP-Link extender, then you can search like default username and password for TP-Link extenders. So once logged in, you can make changes on the extender like changing its SSID, password or channels, etc. Be cautious before changing anything because you might need to connect your devices again to the extender. There is one more method to find the IP address of the extender that is through your router. So you just need to log in into the router's admin page first on browser. So irrespective of which router brand you are using, all routers have option to show connected devices or attached devices to your network. There also you will find your extender along with its IP address that you just need to type in the URL to access the extender's admin page. If you don't know how to log in into the router, we have already made a video on it. I'll put the link in the description. You can watch it. The last bonus tip for Windows users. So you can try one more method here. So in this, you just need to grab your laptop or PC, then go to your Wi-Fi list in settings, then there, connect your device to extender's network name. So the most common suffix that extenders use is underscore ext. So connect to that one. Now press Windows plus R key and then type CMD in the run box. Then type IP config. Now the IP address that comes along the default gateway is your extender's IP address. You need to simply type it in the URL or address bar to access your extender's management page. 
i hope this video was useful for you if yes then do kindly hit like and subscribe button to support us thank you and have a blessed day ahead